This is Stephen, and this passage deals with questions one through six, and we are on question six. What most probably led the author to experiment with caddis larva? This is an inference question. As with other inference questions, you can find the information directly from the passage. In this case, the second paragraph lines 12 through 18. If I had been told by my friend, or I had been told by my friend, however, that if you remove a caddis larva from its cocoon and place it in a jar of clean water, it would spin itself a new cocoon and decorate the outside with whatever materials you supplied. Deciding to experiment, I removed four of my caddis larvae from their cocoons. So that immediately gives us our answer to this question, which is B, a conversation with the author's friend. Taking a look at the other answer choices, A, a passage in a book about pond life, that's not anywhere in this passage, so we can knock that one out. C does the same thing as A, a chance meeting with a famous naturalist, that's nowhere in the passage either, so we can knock that out. And then D, the author's pastime of collecting creatures from ponds and stream. So here's the issue. The this He just likes to catch these creatures from ponds and streams, but that has never led him to do experiments before, nor is that even mentioned in the passage that he did experiments with the creatures that he collected. So because that information is not there, we cannot choose D, the author's pastime of collecting creatures from that led him to experiment. Instead, it was B, a conversation with the author's friend.